In this particular session, we will continue with our static analysis tool and this time we will discuss about the Quark. Quark is the simplest static analysis tool that was developed by some developers from the LinkedIn. The complete name was Quick Android Review Kit. So let's get started with the Quark. For the Quark, I'm using my Kali Linux here and just go with your browser. Give it a search for Quark here. You can go with the Google and directly search here for the Quark as well. Go with the link you get from the github.com slash LinkedIn slash Quark. From this page, just go with this code button here. Copy this link and go to your terminal. On your terminal, write the command git clone and paste your path that you have copied and just hit enter to copy all the or to clone all the files from this repository into your Linux machine. Right. So after downloading this part, just go into that folder cd quark and go with ll here to list all the files and folders. Now here we got a simple file with the name requirements.txt. Just because this tool was written into Python language, you need to download or you need to install some libraries from the Python. To install all those requirements, just go with basic command pip and just because pip was not told in this machine, just go with simple apt install and pip pip. That was again used to install different Python libraries. In short, we call it pip pip. The complete name was Python package installer. All right, all the de dependencies have been installed. Now you just have to go with this file setup.py. So just go with simple Python and go with setup.py and hit enter. You get different options here. Like you can use hyphen hyphen help for the help menu. Let's give it a check. Again, go with the same Python 3 and this will this time because Python 2 gives me some error. It means this particular program was written into Python 3 language. So just go with Python 3, go with setup.py hyphen hyphen help for the complete help menu. And on the top, you can see we got an option here setup.py space install. This will simply install Quark inside our machine. So let's execute this command. Just remove this hyphen hyphen help and replace it with the install and hit enter. This will simply install Quark into your machine. And after installation, if you simply go to any directory and write simple Quark, you will be able to execute this. The plus point here for using Quark instead of your other decompilers, Quarks use three different decompilers at the same time. Like it use Funflower, it use CFR, and it also use Prokine as your decompiler. So it will give you the Java code from three different decompilers at the same time. But here, just because Quark is completely CLI based, so there is no GUI option available inside this Quark. But you can easily use this. So just go with Quark here. And first of all, let's go with our application that we need here. So for the application part, I'll go back to my repository, which is available inside this file storage. I'll go with documents. And here are the, all the application that we can test, right? So just minimize, or you can say you can use any application from here. Let's go with Android 01 .apk, right? But I want this command to be executed from the desktop. Let's say you want your output on your desktop, right? For that part, just go to your desktop, cd desktop, hit enter, go with ll, no such file was there right now. I'll go with quark hyphen hyphen apk, the complete path and the application name as android01.apk. And this will store your output inside this particular location right not only the java code all your resources as well so if you just go inside this build folder you can see we got the quark and under the quark we got multiple files out there like we got manifest we got our folder with the new fun fly which code which contains your java code we got your pro kind which again contains your java code and we got one more folder with the name CFR, which again contains your Java code, but from different decompilers. All right. 
so decompilation has been completed and let's go with these folders out there let's go with this fern flower first you can see that we got the jar file as well here go with the com folder to get the actual java code i will go with pen tester lab go with the end folder and you can see the java code here just go with right click and you can open this java code into any text editor and this will give you the java readable format right so you don't have to go with this compiled byte code all the time you can easily decrypt you can you can see you can easily like decompile the application to get this readable format of the byte code here if you directly go with the byte code it's a bit harder to analyze that will be covered in our next session where we will use some tools like how you can analyze the byte code directly right the readable format of the byte code was mainly known as smiley and we will go with some tools that will help you in analyzing the smiley code as well but the java is much better to read as compared to your smiley and your quark will help you in analyzing your java code with different decompilers to, to decompile your java code into simple readable format right so you can go with prokine as well and you will get the same code here as well right if you just go with right click you can go with text editor and you can see the same java code is also available here that's all from my side in this session have a good day and stay connected